I'm Francis. The Knitting and Crochet Girls Collection in a 100 Objects project aim to make the collection more accessible. We have shown you a 100 objects, but now we want to highlight a few special ones. The Guild of Machine Knitters merged with the KCG in 2019, and we are so pleased to highlight some of the wonderful things you can make with machine knitting. And I will show you this willow pattern jumper, which is a particular beauty. It was probably made in the 1980s and it's adapted from a hand knitting pattern. The willow pattern design um, is most often found in ceramic products such as bowls and plates um, but it just goes to show that inspiration can be found from other art forms too. Um, many of you have made something with a similar willow pattern to this either on a knitting machine or by hand. We really loved hearing about your projects. <laughs> I really enjoyed filming uh, the close-ups for today's item because it was lovely to see how the pattern itself is made. The tree in the middle has leaves which are embroidered on and it was great to study the colours which are really well chosen to both stand out with the lights and the darks um, but also to complement each other. You know, I think, I think they go really well together. The KH710 machine, made in the 1960s to 70s by Jones and Brother, was used to make this jumper. As the jumper is made using Instasia, the placing of the colours is a complicated process, involving placing each one by hand. What a time-consuming process! This jumper was a real labour of love. Um, I'm going to show you some other machine knitting items that we showcased in the 100 Objects project but do go and have a look at the 100 Objects page to see some more and many of the machine knitted garments we have are unusual um, so you can find them in the Love It or Loathe It video too um, such as this wonderfully dramatic wedding dress. <laughs> Another machine knitted item we showcased during the 100 Objects project is this miser's purse with stripes. If you keep your eyes open, you will often see these purses in period dramas. They were worn over a belt with the opening in the middle, in this case in the yellow stripe, and coins in both ends. Many of the miser's purses we hold in the collection are Victorian, but this is a modern one made from rayon. It's the only multicoloured one we have. <laughs> we have shown you both um, machine knitting magazines and books um, during the project. To the best of our knowledge, the KCG collection houses almost all the machine knitting magazines and publications from the UK. And the magazines especially are a comprehensive collection. We have many self-published works um, and they're great because they show the information that machine knitters themselves wanted to share. These two books are by Kathleen Kinder, a founder member of the KCG. The first 
is a spiral bound book and was self-published and the second was published in Batesford 11 years later in 1990. It's great to see the development for individual authors. As I said before, we have an almost comprehensive collection of machine knitting magazines from the UK and this one, the Machine Knitting Monthly, is a magazine that's still publishing in 2020. Um, this photo shows the first from April 1986 and a recent one from November 2018. Um, in the collection we also have complete runs of other machine knitting magazines. These collections show a wonderful timeline of fashions and techniques. If you'd like to see all the hundred objects, check out the collections page on our website caseyguilds.org.uk and you can also find all the posts on our Instagram and Facebook pages where everyone has been commenting with their own stories about the items. We hope you get involved.